In the depths of winter, the hazel tree provides us with a welcome sign of life. It's catkins. Catkins are the male flowers. They rely on wind pollination to whisk their pollen away in the chance that it will come into contact with a female flower. Hazel trees have both male and female flowers on the same tree, but the females must be pollinated by males from another tree. So to avoid self-pollination, the male catkins appear before the tiny red uh, female flowers appear. And here we can see one of those little flowers just opening up. Each catkin has between 150 and 250 little flowers. Catkins do most of their growing the summer beforehand. So in the warmth of August, they form these little sausages. And they sit like that for months until January comes and then they drop open, revealing all of their pollen. Although they're wind pollinated, catkins are also a fabulous source of food for early insects when there's little else around. Once the female flower has been pollinated, it turns into a cluster of hazelnuts. You can do a bit of detective work to see what animals are benefiting from these nuts. We can see the nuts from last year and different animals have different techniques to get into their nuts. Here's one I made last year for a school group to help identify who has been eating what. Common dormice have little teeth marks around the inside and you can see this hole is quite smooth. This is particularly obvious when you compare it to the hole of a wood mouse which leaves teeth marks on the surface and the hole is generally pretty jaggedy. Grey, grey squirrels have strong jaws and split the nuts in half. This one's pretty distinctive. Nut hatches push the nuts into crevices to stabilise them before hammering into them. And finally, we have the tiniest hole of them all, which is produced by great tit. You can see the little peck marks around the hole. Hazel trees are not the only ones to produce catkins. According to the Woodland Trust, you can look out for silver birch, March to April, English oak from April to May, and white willow also from April to May. So there's a lot to look out for in the coming months. And remember to look down and do your detective work to see who's benefiting. Thanks for watching.